Welcome back friends to my playthrough of Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we continued our effort of destroying Saren's research facility on the planet Vermeer. The unending waves of drones, Geth, and Krogan that made up the bulk of Saren's army forced us to make a very tough decision. We had to choose whether to rescue Caden, who were being part of the diversionary team, or rescue Ashley, who were in charge of setting up the bomb that would have blown up the uh, research facility. And we chose to rescue Ashley due to how critical it is her her job was and that the purpose we well we began the assault was to blow up the research facility and not to mention that Caden's team is the diversion and Caden knew this and he volunteered well both Ashley and Caden volunteered to be part of the diversionary team led by Captain Kirahe and also comprised of the uh, Salarian reconnaissance team that we were actually able to rescue so Captain Kirahe and the uh, merchant, sorry I forgot his name, and the rest of the Salarian recon reconnaissance team, well perhaps not the rest, but some of the members of the Salarian reconnaissance team are actually aboard the Normandy right now and we talked with them uh, in the last episode. They kind of hang out near Rex, where Rex usually is. But yeah, that was what happened in the last episode and of course along the way we also learned a bunch of stuff uh, we fought Saren too and we learned that he is somewhat terrified of Sovereign the Reaper but we tried to reason with him to work together against the reapers but we couldn't get through to him not quite and in this episode we are supposed to report to the citadel council of the mission on vermeyer so yeah without any further ado let's get right back into the game Forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Again, let's start exploring the reasonable renegade choices. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Always with that landing animation whenever we came to the citadel. Oh. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. What about ILOs? Oh yeah, we also learned about ILOs. So, uh, of course we knew, uh, we've known for a while that Saren's looking for the conduit and we are trying to 
well, to get to the conduit before him, and in a couple, couple of episodes ago, we discovered a Prothean beacon in Saren's research facility, and we received another vision, and in the last episode, Liara helped us decipher those visions again, and it turns out, how many ends do I have in that sentence? <laughs> Turns out, the conduit is on a planet called Ilos. So yeah, let's ask about it. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. <coughs> if you send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. I'm kind of surprised that Udina, Ambassador Udina, isn't as, you know, gung-ho about this. But then again, at this point, this doesn't really concern, like, humanity's space. So, maybe that's why. Ah, uh, which one? What about the Reapers? What about the Conduit? Send me after him. What about the Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. <sighs> I'm sorry for speaking a lot, but technically that's not true. Now that we've known Sovereign's a Reaper, we saw Sovereign back on Eden Prime. Ashley saw Sovereign. Caden saw Sovereign too. So not only in visions, Counselor Tevos. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Now, how do you know this? One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Let's go. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Oh, come on. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Oh my god, Udina. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. Now, actually, I don't know if they can strip me of my command since I'm not only a Spectre, I'm also an officer of the Systems Alliance, right? But I guess they even have less stake in this, so who knows what they can do. I don't care if they ground me. 
but they refuse to go after Saren. Exactly. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. Yeah. I am with you every step of the way. That's sweet of her. Oh. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. <sighs> Got a message from Captain Anderson. <laughs> Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. <laughs> Come on, Joker. Okay. Yeah, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, now that we don't now that we no longer have Caden with us, I don't think Ashley is ever gonna be in our squad again for the rest of this game. I'm sorry, but again, as I mentioned before, both Shepard and Ashley have only combat strength. And without Caden, there's no one to round out the party with biotic and tech strengths if both Shepard and Ashley is in our squad, so yeah, it's just not gonna work. And whenever we are in Citadel, I always prefer to have Garrus with us since he is a CSEC agent. And let's go with Liara. I think it makes a lot of uh, sense story-wise. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Now we probably can't go back to the Normandy, huh? Let me check. Oh, Liara, what did you do? What are you doing, Liara? Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's okay. locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Okay. So we are to go to Flux, right? Not Chorus Den, if I remember correctly. Let's pull up our journal. Race against time, sovereign. Okay. Captain Anderson is waiting for you in the wards at Flux. He may be able to help you get off the citadel. That's good to know. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. That's quite interesting. If I remember correctly, Binary Helix is that company that helped Saren pretty much resurrect the Rachni, right? And, and Saren was indeed researching uh, the cure for the genophage Hello, back on Vermeer, though I don't Show know. I'll open the rare stock for you, Commander. Enjoy. Though I don't know what company is involved in that. 
Look at these. We are getting these Spectre Master Gear level 10 level stuff. Master. They are very expensive though. Stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. When I'm buying them, somehow they're better than my weapon. So yeah, I'm getting these three. One, two, three, okay. The rest I'm not so sure about. Oh, this one though. Never mind. Any new license, perhaps? Unlikely, but who knows? Nope. Back. Okay. Okay, we are to go to Flux. So this is likely... One of the last times we're gonna be able to, well, be in the citadel, right? I'm just gonna explore the other parts a little bit. Just in case there's something new to discover. Maybe a new assignment. Or something of that nature. I don't believe that CSEC officer over there has something new to say. Now what Detective Chalik? Good to see you, Commander. Never mind. Can we finally go up this elevator perhaps? Never mind again. Okay. Let's go to the wards then. Well, technically we are already in the wards, but you know what I mean. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage. Hmm. Okay. We heard about that, uh... Well, news article before. We had an assignment. Hey, with. Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? Yeah. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah, I was saying we had an assignment regarding, yeah. Batia. And we helped her husband, you know, properly. How should I say? Take care of the, of the body and all that. Let's see if Dr. Chloe and Michelle have something new to sell. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Hmm, not really, no. I think I've unlocked like medical exoskeleton 10 or something. So it makes sense, but... Knowing that the uh, Spectre shop has new things to sell, I was wondering if the other shops 
got the same treatment. What is this? Excuse me, you're the Spectre, right? I thought that there's more people here than usual. Look, guys, we even have triplets here. Two sets of triplets. No, uh, I was wrong. A triplet and a quadruplet. Is that the right term? Anyway. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Uh, let's see. Let's go like this. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. Hmm. Okay. Stop arguing. Quiet. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. Hmm. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Okay. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Ah. Uh... But didn't the council help settle the war peacefully? I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. I have to say, coming into this, oh, playing a Paragon Commander Shepard, I mean, I can see how we'll butt heads with Charles Saraceno over here, but some of his points are actually understandable, which I suppose why they are uh, kind of felt that way too. At least that's the impression that I got. I'm not gonna like go goodbye. I'm just gonna go with this. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. Hmm. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. But yeah, by the same token that kind of reinforces our point no that now that we know about this such a thing 
is not likely to happen again. I'm sorry, I, I hope this is one of those situations where we can agree to disagree, but I guess we'll find out. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. That's a good way to put it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. That is interesting. He was reasonable the whole time. Like, I thought he was gonna go berserk or something, but... That was interesting. Okay. Let's check out the this new secondary codex entry we got. Okay. Terra Firma Party. Excuse me. Terra Firma is an alliance political party formed after the First Contact War. Its policy agenda is based on the principle that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. This covers a variety of legis legislation. Recent activities by Terra Firma include opposition to a law requiring high school alien language study, proposal to increase tariffs on alien imports, and leading a popular movement to mark the first contact war with a public holiday. Though founded by well-meaning individuals who feared the submersion of na native human cultures under a wave of alien vogue, Terra Firma's agenda attracts many jingoists and xenophobes. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. But if there are more people like Charles or even better, I think, you know, Freedom isn't free. maybe. <laughs> I have to work the crowd, Commander. Maybe we can do lunch sometime? I have to work the crowd, Commander. Maybe we can do lunch sometime? Okay, let's continue checking out the shops. I know this is the way to flux, but I'm gonna go here first. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Yeah, I think we're good. And no license, sir. Okay. Uh, and the last shop around. So we're just never gonna learn more about Banes, huh? Yes, human. You need something, yes? This one. So, okay. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's check the non-human armors, though. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Hmm. There's so many types of heavy armor for Krogans. Medium armor for Turians? We kind of need heavy for Keras, though. Okay, then we can go. To flux to meet with Captain Anderson. It's been a while, hasn't it? Okay, I know I noticed like I saw somebody. I didn't know who that was, but yeah. No blood for aliens. FRP, soldier, can I 
might take a moment of your time. Another assignment? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What is it? It's Commander, actually. What do you want? <laughs> of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I get it. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. Oh. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Okay. Uh, let's go like this, then. Or, no, let's go like this. What is this stimulant exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? Yep. The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarian stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. What's wrong with being reasonable? Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If mm. I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Let's go with this. Is, that... is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. You know, I think that would make them a good team, no? Like, there will be like a balanced view between the two of them. But, I don't know. Maybe there's something that I'm missing. Okay, I'm just gonna... Hmm... Hmm... I'm just gonna tell it like it is, I guess. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. Yeah. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I'm not saying he's lying, but even if it is, like, this one simple slip-up can lead to places where you don't want to be, Elias. Yeah. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No, man. This is probably the only time we're gonna interact, and I'm gonna try to help, you know? I don't want to be... I don't want to encourage the problem, especially if this is the only, actually the only time we're gonna interact. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Exactly. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll, I, I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. Maybe this, because as, I mean, as much as I want to say this, I actually don't know if he will, he will be okay or not. 
so that sounds like an addict talking keeler what does it take to convince you you're you're right uh i'll go tell my assistant i shouldn't be working like this I, i'll i'll get help i'm just sorry it came to this good for you dude good for you Why? What's strange? Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people here want an excuse not to talk to each other. <laughs> That's a good point. I am not used to this kind of environment. Too much time working by myself, I suppose. You say that as you swayed. <laughs> you are not very convincing, Liara. How could anyone live here? There are just so many people. Everyone here seems so busy, so rushed. I wonder if they are happy. Wow. Wow, that kind of hit. That, that kind of hit the deep, didn't it? You almost never see any keepers in this club. I guess they don't care what happens here. That or the music keeps them away. But I think there's one upstairs near the gambling machines. Yep, all the way back there, Garrus. Oh, you know. If you feel lucky, you should visit the casino over in Flux. Anything you want, you can find for sale in your office, legal or otherwise. There's very little serious crime in this army of wars. Maybe because the C Second Academy is over his mind. If you feel lucky, you should visit the casino. Guess where we are right now, Garrus? I am not used to this kind of environment. Too much time working by myself, I suppose. Hmm. Can we still dance here? <laughs> Can Garrus and Liara dance too? I guess not. This is kind of immersion breaking though. But. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is our last time being here. But well, I don't know, maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is the last time we're gonna do this, and we are going to talk with Captain Anderson. Oh! He's not in his usual attire. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. Mm. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. Yes. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. How? There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. Okay, so some sort of mutiny then. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shaq. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Listen to this. Listen to this hero, man. No matter what his position is, he always tries to do the right thing. Captain Anderson, man. How can you not respect him? Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Hmm, that's sweet of him to say that too. Okay. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Mm-hmm. 
but any other options or no? There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. <laughs> the ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel control. Uh, none of these options seems ideal, but hmm. you know, when I heard it the first time, I thought, oh, definitely just go break break into Ambassador Udina's office, as opposed to like going through armed guards and all that but then again it seems like it's even more of a bigger mistake to quote unquote betray someone of like ambassador Udina's uh, stature or position so mm. But still, I think at least we can resolve it within humanity, you know? We don't have to... Like, if we go this way, it seems like... We can potentially... It can potentially become a bigger problem for... Way more people, I feel like. So let's do this one. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. Mm. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, the nice. ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Actually, not yet. I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. Because, yeah, it's very clear that this will actually be the last time we're going to be on the Citadel, so... I'm actually gonna, you know, take in the view. And yeah. So we're never gonna be here again, I don't think. It's very unlikely, so. Yeah, look at the arms of the citadel and the place that I want to go to is actually, yep, the Presidium. Since there's no way we're gonna be here again. I'm not gonna take too long though, I'm just gonna... In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. We saw Garrus enjoying the music back there. So, yeah, not only Liara, but here is also <laughs> seems to be quite the dancer albeit shy maybe the both of them but yeah so far wait where's the elevator button okay you must welcome civilization after spending such a long time in the prothean ruins no cities and stations were always my mother's area of comfort i actually enjoy the solitude of dig sites after seeing so many Asari come through the Citadel, I assumed your people preferred large cities. I apologize. I was about to say, so far Liara is the one that dances most often. And would you look at that, we got another banter between our party members, so this was not a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. This is the last time we'll walk around these parts as a free man. 
If they ever catch us with the mutiny, who knows what might happen to us. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit and then yeah, I'm gonna go back to flux through the rapid transit so that it's faster. I wonder if there's actually, there are actually things we can only do right now. You know, after we, we've done all that we did and yeah, look at that. So the re- I was about to say the reapers. So the uh, Protheans didn't create the citadel. But instead this is based on reaper technology or something like that. At least that's what Sovereign told us. For all we know, I mean, he may be lying. Yeah, I think this is a good way to end our sightseeing of the Presidium. The Relay Monument and then the uh, Tower. Where's Liara? Oh, she's all the way back there. The keepers never paid much attention to that relay monument. I always found that a little strange. Yep. Caden also told us something along those lines. He said this art piece hums or something. This statue shows how well the Protheans blended function and form. The mass relays were not only their greatest technological achievement, but also inspiration for beautiful works of art. Okay. Now where's the nearest rapid transit? It's probably the one back there near the uh Oh no, this one. It's actually the nearest one. Nope, this is just a car without the panels. Yeah, I'm just going to go here. And use that one. Let's take a look at this lake, river, pond. One last time. And let's go back to Flux. Okay, Captain Anderson, are you ready? So all we need to do is just go back to the Normandy and the captain will do all the heavy work. Okay. Let's go, captain. You ready to get the hell off this station, commander? I, let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay. I thought we were gonna skip like directly to the Normandy, but I guess we could have done the sightseeing after telling the captain that we were ready. Anyway, go to Ilos. Use the Mew Relay to go to Ilos and stop Saren before he uses the Conduit to unleash a Reaper invasion on the galaxy. And these are the two assignments that we did earlier in this episode. But yeah, let's go back to the Normandy then. Towards CSEC. Ok. 
Okay. To the Our docking bay. Station on Noveria has reportedly been destroyed. The exact cause is currently unknown. Given the research conducted on Noveria, many are blaming the destruction on an experiment gone awry. Administrator Anoleus currently faces criminal charges as a result of the disaster, although the nature of the charges remains unclear. Technically, there was indeed the cause. An experiment gone awry. The Arachni experiments, that is. And... Yeah, the destruction is to cover that up. Not cover that up technically, to, to take care of that. The Ragnai Queen even... Even asked us to do it, so... Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh! Forgot to go to Delon's shop, but yeah, I don't think he's gonna have anything new. Oh. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. Ooh. Okay. Come on, Joker. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Come on, Joker. Look at that. Uh, what just happened? Okay, I guess I mean... Ah... Uh, <laughs> I thought we were gonna go somewhere, but okay. So I take it we're gonna... Be able to go to Ilos now? <laughs> we're technically still in the area. That's kind of funny. Oh, here it is. Pangea expands. We've been to every single other cluster. Can't believe we've done it, guys. We actually have been to every single other cluster. But yeah, I think I want to check in on our party members first. See what they think about that whole situation. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Oh. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. They don't have anything new to say. We have an advantage. I'm just gonna start skipping. Know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't but I'm infantry. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duties. Mm. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. Oh! 
Captain Kirahe and the Salarian Reconnaissance team are no longer here. They used to hang out here. Okay then. Stealing an alive oh. ship. Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Thanks. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. Mm. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. They won't. With you, anything's possible. Oh, that's nice of him to say. Okay, never mind. Some of them have something new to say. Hmm. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay, that's what I like to hear. Good, 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 good. Shepard, maybe, yeah, straighten your neck a little bit. Actually, maybe the... Like Engineer Adams, Navigator Presley, and Dr. Chakwas may have something to say too. Heard we're headed into the Terminus systems, Commander. Oh, they do. Don't worry, sir. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. Heard we're headed into the Terminus systems, Commander. Okay. Don't worry, sir. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. Okay. Tell you what's going on. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting sh I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. Hmm. Your father probably had some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. Makes sense. He'd probably want to execute us himself. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Hmm. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. Yeah. True. Okay. I should go. Oh, I think I know what's happening. Ashley has no new conversations because she might have she might have died at this point if we had chosen to rescue Caden instead. So I'm I'm guessing that had we chosen to save Caden, he won't have he wouldn't have a new conversation either at this point. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. After everything you told me, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? You know that's fair. That's fair of him to say. Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. Mm. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. Mm. Thank you for seeing it that way, Garrus. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. That's right. Talking with him one more time. Command. I want. Oh, to now they return to the usual conversation. What for, Garrus? For everything. I've thought a lot about what you've told me, and I've been thinking about Doctor Salion too. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Okay. That was quite the long elevator ride. But yeah, okay. It's strange being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. I'll try. It's strange being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. 
I'll try, Doctor. Okay, Liara, how's it going? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Nothing important? There's an option for nothing important? I guess we'll find out where this leads to. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Never mind. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay, so Liara has no updates either. Okay then. Now to talk with Navigator Presley and uh, Joker. I'm sure Joker has a comment or two about this whole thing that we chose to do. Can't believe we stole the Normandy. I know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. I'm <laughs> glad you feel that way, Navigator Presley. Aw, oh, damn it, no sign of pursuit? I was hoping the council would send some ships after. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide and seek with Sovereign. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? Okay. I have to go. All right, see ya. I'll be okay, Commander. Just need some time. That's what he said after Vermeer, I think. Well, technically we are after Vermeer, but you know. Can we like report our mutiny to the council or something? <laughs> of course we can't. Why would we want to do that? I see, okay. Anyway, it's gonna feel a little weird and like not immersive, but this is where we're gonna wrap this episode up. That's right, still technically being around the citadel after our mutiny. But yeah, to recap, in this episode, we return back to the citadel only for us to, you know, got stripped of our command and the Normandy to be grounded. Thankfully, we have we have Captain Anderson on our side and being the hero that he is he he decided to help us at at a great cost at a great risk so yeah we have to make it count and in the next episode we are going to make it count because in the next episode we are going to ilos where we can hopefully get to the conduit before Saren does. But yeah, that would be it for this episode. And so thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of this video. And I'm very much looking forward to see you on the next one. So goodbye for now, and I hope you have the greatest day. See ya!